hey you yes you you are not going to make it to the nba it's basically impossible if you aren't a genetic freak it would be a waste of time to even attempt making it basketball is the worst sport in this aspect basketball is 90% genetics 5% luck and 5% hard work you can't control the 95% the only thing you can control is the 5% hard work aspect which i'm sorry to say it's not enough you would say there are players like isaiah thomas well those are exceptions they needed severe luck chances and hard work to even considered by nba teams you are playing a rigged game play some other sport where height doesn't matter you have to be at least 6-3 to even get a fair shot and then also it's only 0.01% players who even make it yeah work ethic will make you improve and make you better but it can't help the fact that your genetic ceiling is bad you will mention mugsy bogues as someone who made the nba because of his work ethic but you are forgetting one crucial thing the fact that he had a 44 inch vertical and was really fast he is not a freak in terms of height but in terms of his athleticism you need to have at least two or three x factors to reach the league we always talk about the work ethic of michael jordan and kobe bryant but do you think it would matter if they were 59 they would be working at your local accounting firm they would be nobodies many players have amazing reaction times but this is also hard to improve if they don't have that they have amazing hand eye coordination some players just simply have a sixth sense of the game sure basketball iq can be improved but someone with naturally poor basketball iq will never end up extraordinary like cp3 and there's this one 7 feet tall guy that is watching this video and laughing at us even if you're 7 feet tall you will really need to have solid mobility a decent understanding of the game and at least one solid post move to make it to the nba the chances are 1 in 6 so you the tall guy get your ass to practice stop messing around you are also not special 2.9% of high school seniors that play basketball go on to play for NCAA teams 1.3% of NCAA seniors are drafted by NBA teams only 0.03% of high school seniors get drafted by NBA teams and i am only talking about america if you are from india or the philippines man just focus on cricket or ping pong don't even think about basketball if you get drafted after all that struggle it's not over a team may not sign you if they think you are not good you always have to fight the cutthroat competition if you play in the nba after everything you have been through the average nba career is 4.5 years is it even worth it at that point all that struggle just to be a bench warmer who is giving water to jason tatum and then be out of the league in 5 years you put that work in some other field you become really successful i'm not here to say that don't try to make it to the nba you can still try and practice hard even if you don't make it you get a lot of good experience and learning in life i'm here to give you the perspective you can react to this video by two ways you realize how unrealistic it is or you get more motivated than before to start working hard as the odds are really against you there's only one life and in that one life you only get one life to make it to the nba so why give up the competition today is much more than the 90s you'll need to know more about this before making your decision check this video out to know why the modern nba is better than the 90s